Do you realize that you are a genius? I am not kidding. In the 1960s, NASA decided they wanted to find out the level of genius within society. So what they did was they gave two doctors, Dr. George Land and Dr. Beth Jarman, the task of finding out how many geniuses there were in society. So the way they defined genius was the ability to use divergent thinking and creativity. So firstly, what they did was they went out and they tested five-year-olds with this test that they had developed. What they discovered, shockingly, was that 98% of five-year-olds were considered geniuses according to their tests and parameters. Now, when they got to 10-year-olds, sadly, it was 30%. When they got to 15-year-olds, it was 12%. And when they got to adults, it was just 2%. Now, during all their testing, they also figured out what was the reason for this 96% drop in the genius status. And that was education or indoctrination because we have been indoctrinated throughout our education system to be good little worker bees. They don't need people who are creative. They don't need geniuses or they don't need a lot of geniuses. What they need is people who will do what they're told, who will conform, who will comply and who will not buck the system. Now, if you have 98% of people who are geniuses, who are creative thinkers, who are thinking outside the square, who are self-determinant, who are willing to, um, to actually create their world the way they want it to, that does not work for the systems of control that have been orchestrated and developed to keep us in a compliant state and easy to control. It means the world would be filled with people who are determining their future, who are exercising their freedom, who are reclaiming their sovereignty, who are standing in their power. And that doesn't work for certain people who have spent a lot of time, money and energy actually creating these systems of control and indoctrination to keep us where they want us. So how do you reawaken the genius within you? Well, according to this TikTok video, which I will put the link below because it was really fun. It was this lady who was, she's obviously a dancer and she put all these really weird, fun movements and dance to her presentation. It's very cool. It's only about three minutes long. Link in the description below. Um, but she said, we have to reawaken our imagination. We have to get into play. We have to um, actually deliberately do things that reactivate the genius in our brain, the creativity that we have, because you are a creative being. You may believe and um, have been conditioned to believe that you do not have that creativity within you, but you actually do. It's still there. It's still inside of you. So play. What happens to kids as they grow up? We're told not to be foolish, not to be silly, to grow up. Huh? Well, that's not helping our genius, is it? So get back into play and start doing things that really bring joy for you, really bring joy. Dance, sing, play, be silly, because this is going to help to re reawaken your creative genius. The other thing she said in the video is that, of course, we were shamed and humiliated and we were controlled. Shame is something that we will do almost anything to avoid because it's painful, right? So when you understand these systems of control, you can break free from these systems of control. Now, if you would like to know how to rewire your brain for money, wealth, abundance, and success, then remember to join the Wealth Consciousness Movement, where I have dozens of free videos to help you to do just that and reawaken the genius inside of you. That's it for this video today. I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.